My name is Dr. Lewis Roberts. I'm a hepatologist I'm here at the Mayo Clinic and the senior author of this paper. And I'm Tachai Pirapadit, or B. I'm one of the internal medicine residents at the University of Minnesota and also a research affiliate at Mayo Clinic. We would like to tell you today about our article entitled Prognostic Value of Model for End-Stage Liver Disease Score Measurements on a Daily Basis in Critically Ill Patients with Cirrhosis which will be appearing in an upcoming issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. We would like to thank all co-authors for their contribution to this article. Patients with liver cirrhosis uh, who is sick enough to be admitted to the intensive care unit uh, has a very high mortality risk. Healthcare providers caring for this patient often use prognostic tool to uh, stratify the patient with the highest risk and to help with the medical decision making. The model for end-stage liver disease or MILF score was developed at Mayo Clinic to predict outcome of the patient with liver cirrhosis. It is calculated by serum creatinine, total bilirubin, and prothrombin time, and it will be accepted among clinicians taking care of patients with liver cirrhosis. We observed that during admission to the intensive care unit, the MILF score was frequently obtained on a daily basis to assess the change in severity of the patient in the ICU. However, the evidence behind this practice is inconclusive. So the aims of our study um, were therefore first to assess the performance of the MELT score calculated on each of the first seven days of, of ICU admission for predicting outcomes of the patient in terms of 90-day mortality, and second, to assess the ability of the change in MEL score or delta MEL score from one day to the next, the ability of that change to help predict the um, outcomes of a patient. We conducted a retrospective study of 830 patients with liver cirrhosis who were admitted to the intensive care unit at Mayo Clinic from 2003 to 2013. We then calculated uh, the MILF score on each day of the first seven days after the ICU admission and also the change in the MILF score on the consecutive days. We then analyzed the predictive ability of the MILF score on each day and the change of the MILF score in predicting 90-day mortality. So our key finding was that the MILF score calculated on the first day of admission was actually a very good predictor of outcomes of patients in terms of their 90-day mortality. When we subsequently looked to see if the Delta MEL score was also predictive, uh, we found that the Delta MEL score did not really add very much to the MEL score that was calculated on the day of admission. We also looked at the MEL score on subsequent days after the first day of admission. And those also performed well, but none of them performed better than the MELT score on the, f on the first day of, uh, of admission. Repeating MELT score measurement beyond the initial ICU admission does not improve the predictive ability uh, to predict 90-day mortality. Our finding does not support the routine measurement of the MELT score on a daily basis in the ICU for patients with liver cirrhosis. Now it may be that um, since these measurements are measurements that are used to assess other functions, for example liver function and, and kidney function, that if it, they can be used if needed in the ICU setting. But the point we, we're making um, in this article is that um, obtaining them um, solely for the purpose of predicting patient outcomes is not necessary beyond the first day. I think it can be practice changing in terms of um, it will change um, the practice of routinely measurement in, in, in uh, hoping to assess the outcome prediction. Uh, I, I, I think our study provides that there, there is no incremental value of getting more MILF score measurement for predictive value alone. But like Dr. Robert say, if there is um, a requirement to get the lab for other reasons such as um, evaluating kidney function or uh, coagulopathy, then it's still, it's still useful to get the lab, but maybe not to calculate the MILF score. So in that sense, it may, in a sense, improve the quality and the cost-effectiveness of the care that's provided to patients in intensive care units. Uh, that's a previous study showing that the ICU-specific score, such as um, sequential organ failure assessment or SOFA score, 
and also uh, chronic liver failure or CLIP SOFA score can predict uh, can perform better in predicting mortality when compared to the milk score. Future research can look at the daily measurement of this score if it will increase the prognostic value or not. Thanks very much for your interest in the article and we hope that this will continue to um, help with improving the assessment and the care of patients in the ICU. Thank you very much. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.